The Zone Master, just like the Analyzer, has a user mode which allows you to customize the operation. You enter this by holding the print button down at the same time as turning the unit on. And the word user will come up on the display and then you can release the button. Pressing this button again takes you to the first of the settings. This is the lamp saver and you can toggle the settings by pressing the up or down buttons. And this is what we saw earlier in one of the other videos. After 30 seconds of not pressing a button, the display is turned to a single digit and also the microprocessor goes into a reduced power mode to make the batteries last longer. I'm going to leave it on. Pressing the button again takes me to the display mode. Of This alters the brightness, so I have dim and bright, which work equally well in darkroom conditions. Pressing it again takes me to the test strip mode. Again, just like the analyzer, there is a separate and an incremental test strip mode. I prefer incremental. The next is the startup step time. It starts up using a twelfth of a stop as the step. I can alter that to a sixth. Pressing the button again takes me to the default paper channel when it powers up. Again, using the up and down buttons, I can select another value. During the user mode, at any time, if I press the X button in the corner, it stores all the settings so far changed and exits this particular mode. Pressing the button again takes me to the end of the user mode and cancels out. I would just like to briefly show you an enhancement of the Zone Master and the Stop Clock by connecting them together. On the front of the Stop Clock is a connection for a 3.5mm stereo jack plug. And if you push the plug fully home, so it clicks home, and then into the back of the Zone Master at the top left hand corner, the two units will now communicate to one another. Now at the moment, with the Zone Master turned off, the stop clock works as per normal and is unaffected. As soon as the Zone Master is now turned on, the display here mimics the display here. So every time I change the time, the times are copied across. Now what happens is, is if I take a measurement with the Zone Master and it comes up with an exposure setting, this exposure setting is then transmitted to here and I can now make the exposure with this um, stop clock. So the combination of these two is a bit like an analyzer. When the Zone Master is connected, the word ZM is lit up on the, uh, on the indicator display. So really it gives you the best of both worlds because not only does it indicate the time, but I can also use that as the basis of a program for additional burn-in exposures and, and such. So it's, it's quite a, a clever idea. So I can do the step zero of the, the time on the Zone Master and then when that's finished it'll do the first burn-in step of 6.2 seconds etc. So the combination of these two is quite powerful. When you have the two connected, not only do the two times match, but also the step size set by the analyzer also, also is matched. So for instance, if I go up and down here, it goes to 15.9 and the same here. Sometimes there's a tenth of a, of a second out because of round off errors. If I now change the step size to something coarser and go up and down in time now, going up and down in time now is exactly the same on this as well. So this not only copies the time from the Zone Master but also the step size that's set by the Zone Master. The other thing to note is that um, if I now change this time it will again pick up the time. So for instance I'm altering the time now and I can be independent of the Zone Master but as soon as I do something to the Zone Master either take a meter reading or change the time the two times then tie up again. If I turn the Zone Master off, the little light against ZM turns off and now the stop clock is independent and working as a standard stop clock. But also it uses a slightly different time base. The time base on the stop clock at the moment is a basic geometric sequence so every time you add a stop it doubles the time. The Zone Master has reciprocity failure built in and when it's powered up and connected 
the stop clock also shares the same time base. And the reason for that is when you're taking a meter reading you need the reciprocity adjustment to get the most accurate uh, print exposure because the sensitivity of the paper changes with light level. If you're just using a stop clock and test strips you already take account of that by the fact that you're evaluating your test strips at the light level that you're going to make your print exposure. So again, you get the best of both worlds.